Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Beverly. I do things planner related. And if you're new here, thanks for joining me. And if you're coming back, I appreciate it. So today we're going to talk about kind of an end of the week check-in and see how things are going. So how things are going. I have, I have the plague. I, um, I started getting sick on Wednesday, and I took a test, and it was like a faint positive, and today it's a full-blown, yes, 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 you have the plague. So, um, I haven't been doing anything. I honestly have not been doing anything. I have both of my planners here because I have decided that I'm not going to choose. I'm not going to choose between the two. What I'm going to do is... Make sure that everything is set up, both systems are set up, so I can hop back and forth if I want to and see where it takes me. Um, I'm, I had a long talk with myself because yesterday I spent all day in bed and I said, why choose? Why, why am I making myself choose? Why do I have to choose? Is this a thing? Like, that's the point of being an adult. You get to do whatever you want, like. I mean, sometimes it's a curse, sometimes it's a blessing, but, you know, like, if I want to eat all the Snicker bars in my pantry, I get to do that as an adult. Now, I'm sick as a dog, but, you know, um, but there's nobody there to stop me, which, again, is a curse or a blessing, I don't, I'm not sure. So, um, anyway, so I'll show you what I've been doing. So, in here... I have been keeping this up. Like I said, I've been keeping them both up. Um, I have everything set up. This is going to be my B6 for October through December. And even with two pages per day, I should get to December on this. I have my goals, my master list, my task list, my bills. My work project list, study info, I'm working on the capsule wardrobe, packing guide. This is my routines that I've tried to do, a weekly routine. I think I did a flip of this before, you know, but it's, uh, my brain ain't braining. It's, uh, it's, it has eaten my brain away. Okay, so um, I do have 12 weeks of meals in here. So I won't have to meal plan for the rest of the year. I'm going to add in, like, things my family wants here and there. But for, like, 12 weeks worth of planning, I don't have to plan. Um, yeah. So this is my October. I have each month. In between, I have my goal setting stuff or, like, my goals of what I want to do. Progress trackers, blah, blah, blah. This is my monthly to-do list. It's going to be my gratitude. This is my trackers, my mood tracker, habit, fitness, sleep log. And this was this week. Um, I was actually really busy Monday and Tuesday. I got a bunch of stuff done. Um, I wrapped up a couple of projects at work. Um, I have a project that goes into effect next week, but I gotta finish it. So I gotta drag myself to work tomorrow and finish it, if nothing else. Um, and so I was doing one day per page in here. That's where I was COVID positive. So it was Tuesday, not Wednesday. Tuesday, Wednesday, I was off. Um, I had plans, but, you know, the plague got me, and this is today, and I only up, ended up working in the morning, and I slept the rest of my day. This is the afternoon, so it's a little shady, because it's going to be, it's, the sun's, it's a little overcast this afternoon. Um, this is going to be my next week. I am going to have, like, the weekends are going to be one day per page, so that'll be fine. Um, and so this will be next week, and I'll set that up, and that'll be the official first week of October. I have my bills set up in the back, like I always do, and then um, I have one spread for the, my next planner. 
And then, oh, I also have, um, I am going to put uh, January, February, and March back here so that as I plan, I can um, look into the first quarter of 2024 because I'll need that as I start to work on my next planner. Um, so I'll put January, February, and March, one page for a month back here just to have a rough draft of things going because that has been working for me when I did it in my other one. So, so this one I will keep and um, use as needed. And um, it doesn't travel well. Um, when we went out of town last week, it didn't, I mean, like it's kind of heavy. And when it gets big, it gets heavier. <laughs> but um, anyway, so I think I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna keep both of these up. We'll see if I gravitate towards one instead of the other. This week, honestly, I have been using my uh, B6 Stylo Weeks. I stuck my um, cards and everything back in here um, because I've been using this as a wallet. Uh, and I was going, I was using it as, um, I would pull it out at appointments on uh, Monday and Tuesday. And, um, I will pull it out and make some notes. In here, I set up, let's see. This was September. This was my weekly, or my monthly goals, my to-do list. I did get a bunch of stuff done in my living room. Um, I still have a few things to do, but that's gonna have to wait. I feel like crud. <laughs> Got my bills set up. I have caught up all my tracking in here. Um, this was the first week that I was in here for September. Um, yeah. My son's first book of the season. He's a big bow hunter. <laughs> he loves it. Um, and we eat a lot of deer. And let me tell you, and it's not cheap either, because hunting equipment's not cheap. Um, but anyway, um, I've been doing here. I started um, two pages per day. I kind of like went back and planned a little bit on what I did plan, like in my, my B6. I kind of caught it up. This was uh, some memory keeping for our music festival. We went to sing out loud. Um, I just put the, I just took a screenshot on my phone of the like schedule of all the bands and um, put it in here. And then like a little collage of pictures we took. This was kind of a Sunday. Um, this was Friday and Saturday. And then Sunday, I just made a little list of things I needed to get done, some notes. And then this has been this week. I didn't even put stickers in this. I didn't bother. Um, I didn't need it. I was just back to paper and pen. And I'm gonna be honest, I've, I've liked it. I like the paper and pen. Um, so this is, I didn't even write the days at the top. This is today, it's tomorrow, and then Saturday and Sunday will be in here. And then I'll flip to my new one, which I have set up for October. And then I have my, like I'm gonna do in my next one, I have, October, November, December in the back just to, you know, so I can look forward for that next one. And so this one got thick. It did get chunky. Um, it does, it's on the last button and um, it's not horrible. 
I just can't fit like my stickers in here. When I do, it's like it's strained. <laughs> um, which is fine. I mean, I don't need to carry these. I just leave them at the house. I don't take them with me, so I'm not worried about it. I did cut this down. This was a B6 Slim Pocket, and I stuck all my stickers in here. This is from um, Salty Katie. I had it for a B6 Slim uh, Jaboon Techo, and it has like a extra uh, pin, if I a pin slot if I need it. Um, I can stick it in here with an extra pin slot and uh so that works out and then so for next week i have already set up my next stylo weeks um i put my oops let me flip this around um i already put some pictures in here this will be my cover page I have um, uh, my little sticker came off. Stick him back. One more page won't kill me. Famous last words. Wake up, uh, look up, and it's 4 a.m. and you got to get up in an hour to go to work. Um, I got the holiday list from uh, Plan with Me. Of course, my goals. Um, a to-do list, and I stuck some um, post-its in here, like to buy a little brain dump and online orders I can keep track of. My adulting list, as always, my bills. It's set up just like the other one. I mean, there's no difference, and that's what, that's what I always like say, you know, get you a planner system, not a planner because I can set these both up. They mirror one another. Um, got my week that I did. And then I have 12, the same 12 weeks of meals in here. Um, but they mirror one another and they, um, you know, that way I'm seamlessly able to jump back and forth. This will be for my goals. I wrote it in instead of Stick it in on sticker and the SM Plans um, calendars. I decided to just draw these out in here because I like them a little better. This does get thicker faster to me, but I think because it's so narrow. Um, so I was trying to save myself some thickness. Mm. Oh, November and December have a few lists. I went through and processed or looked through my last Hobonichi from 2022 that I did during the holidays and some of the lists and collections I've had in there so I don't forget. Um, and I just wrote them down so I don't forget. Um, this is going to be October. My gratitude. This will be my trackers. These are the same trackers that I have in my other one that's on stickers. Um, I just set it up because, again, I don't want to use the stickers. Um, I just set it up as a um, grid kind of thing, um, but it's still the same trackers. Like, it's my weight, uh, my my mood tracker will be here and it'll just be a face my carbs and then um my hours of sleep that day um so this will be my first week and i'll set that up next week um and that's it that's all i have in here i have some stickers and stuff that i'm gonna put in here and use and then I also went ahead and put my bills. I gotta write them, but I kind of mapped them out. And then this will be my 2024 section, and these are planned with B2. And these will be the 2024 holidays, so when I'm looking, I can make notes. And then um, I already set up January, February, and March in here. Um, so that as I'm looking forward, I can plan, uh, 
as I go into my next planner. And that's it. Um, so that's what I've been up to. This is what happens when you're sick and you have a lot of time on your hands. So both of these are set up. We'll see which one I like. These are a few vellums that I picked out. Um, I thought they were cute. And I'll put those in here as we go for October. So like I said, um, that's kind of what I've been up to. I'm trying to decide how I want to move forward, if I want to use these in tandem somehow, if I want to like use this as like a weekly setup and then only do my dailies in here or um, something like that. And then I can, like I can leave this one at home and then take this one with me. But honestly, I'm, I'm not a two planner girl. Um, so I'll probably carry one or use one at a time um, and it doesn't matter because these are set up for the next three months. So as I go through and if I change my mind, it'll take little, little effort for me to jump into each, uh, e either one of these. It, you know, it'll be just updating a spread here or there. This, of course, will, these will, of course, stay in my memory planners. Um, I will do all my memory planning in here. Um, so I will keep up with these regardless, even if I stay in the B6, these will stay kept up with um, because this is what goes on my shelf at the end of the year. Um, this one will, um, is fixing to be retired at the end of this week. So um, I might do a flip through of it. If that's something y'all are interested in, I'll do a full thrip, flip through of how that one turned out. Um, but like I said, this is why a system's so important because you can, I can easily go from one to the other. And as long as my system's set up, I won't lose information. I just got to transfer a little information here or there and I'm good to go. So anyway, that's my end of the week checkup and our check-in. Sorry, medical. I, I call it a checkup. Check-in. And I hope everybody's doing okay. Like, Man, the plague is upticked here in Florida, and I'm just, oh, I'm tired, man. This is my second time this year having it, my fifth time altogether, and I'm just, I'm over it. I'm over it. Um, but you, when you work in the medical field, it's kind of comes par with the course. Um, we get patients we don't know or, you know, whatever. Um and you come in contact with people all day long. So, all right. Until next time, y'all. I hope everybody stays well. Bye.